oh, those pesky germs on the shopping cart, and then when they get on your baby, oh, I can't even stand it. Today, I show you how you can make your own shopping cart cover. When we started having babies over 25 years ago, I've always been a stay-at-home, work-at-home mom, and I started making baby items and would sell them at the craft show. So today, I am going to show you a shopping cart set that I made and sold hundreds and hundreds of. So you can make this for your own baby, but if you're looking for an item that you can sell online, sell at the bazaar, sell at the craft show, this was a hot seller. It is two pieces. This piece Velcros onto the shopping cart and you attach the baby's toys to it. This piece will thread through the back of the cart and around the baby's belly, holding them tight. It's padded and it is super, super easy to put on. So we'll get started, I'm gonna show you how you do it. If you ever, ever have any questions during the process, please comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. The pattern, the printout for these supplies, you can find on our website, diyonthehouse.com. Print out the measurements and you can uh, use it to make your own shopping cart cover. So as I said, uh, you can print out this list from DIYonthehouse.com, but here's a rundown. You'll need a yard and a quarter of fabric and a half yard of batting and about 14 inches of two inch Velcro. So these are the straps and these ones uh, we just need to sew right sides together, leaving the short end open to turn it in and out. Okay, so those three straps sew down the long side across the bottom and back up, leaving the end open to turn in and side out. These are the straps that go around the belly of the child. So I am going to put right sides together on these plus lay down your batting. And I just did one thickness of batting on the waistband uh, because they are actually not sitting on it. So we have right sides together and one layer of batting. Again, we're gonna sew down the long side across one end and back up, leaving this end to turn. Okay, the 15 by 15 piece is what we are going to be attaching to the handle of the shopping cart. So the 15 by 15, you put right sides together, evening up your edges, and this is the one I used two pieces of cotton batting uh, just to get a little bit thicker and lay that over and sew. So I'm gonna put the fabric on my side here so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, just put a pin in each of your corners and pull the batting out to your edge. And you'll, you'll probably need to adjust it a little bit as you're sewing because I did cut these the, the same size. Okay, so when I sew, sew this one, I'm going to need to leave a little section open so that I can uh, turn it inside and out. So I will probably start four inches or so from a corner, sew all the way around, and leave about a five to six inch opening so we can turn this one inside out. Okay, so then this is the last piece. This one is the part that they will be sitting on and that we'll be attaching the uh, waist belt to. So we're gonna go right sides together again. Before I lay down the batting, I need to make a mark and make a slit on this one because this one will be sitting like this in the shopping cart. So this is the back of the child and here are the legs. The legs need to have a slit in it so that it can go around the bar on the seat of the shopping cart. So this piece of fabric should be 15 inches wide, and it is. So half of 15 is seven and a half. So we're just gonna make a little pencil mark at seven and a half, and then draw that line up for four inches. So we have a mark at seven and a half, 
that goes up for four inches. So now that we have that marked, I'm going to lay down my batting and lay my fabric, which is right sides together, lay my fabric on top of my batting and pin my four corners. When I get ready to sew this one, I am going to sew up, around, and back down this slit. And then I will be, after the fact, I will take my rotary cutter or scissors and cut along the pencil line that we drew. So we're going to go up, over, and down, and then sew around the perimeter of the rest of these. So when I sew this, my straps are going to be attached back here in this vicinity. So that's a good place that you can leave your opening because then you'll have to hand stitch that opening shut. So I will start on one of the upper corners and go around, come up and over the slit, and end on one of these upper corners. I have all of my pieces sewed together, so everything is sewed, and I will now just take scissors and trim off any corners. Um, if there's an extra piece of batting, uh, just trim it off because you just need to reduce your bulk. This is the seat piece uh, that I was um, that I drew the pencil mark on. And so this one's the 15 by 17. And then just take scissors and cut along your pencil mark. In your corner, you need to snip your corners. Don't get too close to your threads, but go ahead and snip your corners. Now just turn everything inside out. Okay, and just continue that for the rest of your pieces. Okay, everything is turned inside out. Uh, the openings here, I need to slip stitch those shut. And I need to take a pin and just make sure that my corners are pulled out to make them nice and crisp. Goodness, I already have everything ready to go to the machine here. So what I have prepared is I have slip stitched, shut the, the two pieces, the piece that goes on the handle and the piece that they sit on. So I've slip stitched that shut. This is the 15 by 15 piece and this goes around the handle. So let's pretend this is the handle of the grocery cart. It goes around the handle of the cart. So I have placed two pieces of Velcro a half inch um, from each top and side and then I placed it three inches between this piece and this piece. Um, there's a three inch gap here that it's coordinating Velcro piece goes to. So we have half inch, half inch, half inch on the side here and three inch in between. And we do that on both sides and then this will go around the handle of the cart. For the piece that they sit on, I also slip stitch this shut. For the belts that attach to the back here, I have zigzagged the end, the short end of each of them closed. Just a nice tight zigzag stitch. Um, if you have a serger, you can use a serger and uh, zip that off. I have over the years, because um, I have made probably hundreds of these. I've tried turning them in um, and put the seam allowance in and sewing. It just is pretty bulky. Uh, so I always return back to the zigzag. So these are placed on the um, on the piece that they sit on. So if you decide if you have a front or back, this one, it doesn't matter, but this goes on the back of your piece and it is three inches from the top and two inches in. So the edge of this is two inches over and three inches from the top. The edge of this is two inches over and three inches from the top. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over. And so this, so you can visually see, this goes around the belly of the, the child. So on the short belt, I have the long piece of Velcro. So this is the six inch piece of Velcro that I just centered on that piece. So that's on the, the facing out towards the, the mother. 
This one is the long belt and I have placed the shorter piece of Velcro which is the three inch piece of Velcro. So I have the three inch piece of Velcro pinned and ready to sew there. Okay, we're not done yet. So I have uh, turned them inside out. I've pressed them. I pulled out the corners so we have nice crisp corners. And then I also zigzagged shut the ends of these. This will get folded under like this and sewn on here on the next step. But I, uh, again, it's a little bulky if you try to uh, bend in your seam allowance. So just zigzag those shut. On each one, I have a piece of Velcro that is just about a quarter inch, maybe a, uh, well, maybe almost a half inch from the bottom. I have the Velcro running um, with the, the, the strap with a one inch gap in between. So I'm going to take these to the sewing machine and sew on the Velcro. If you've ever sewn with Velcro, I like using a little larger needle. So you're probably going to want at least a size 14 or 16 needle. And do quite a bit of backspacing because the, the pressure and the tension that Velcro creates, you need to make sure it's a nice solid uh, stitch. Okay, so this is the piece uh, that goes around the handle of the shopping cart set. I'm going to go ahead and Velcro it as if it's going over the cart. Uh, so this is the baby sitting here and here's the cart handle and mom is out there. So this is where you lay your straps and I just have uh, just a color pattern here. I'm going to lay them with the Velcro side facing down and the reason for that is you're going to put a toy here and Velcro it around and if that um, lip is not facing the child they might be less apt to play with it. So lay these straps, Velcro facing down, center the first strap so this one's seven inches, fold a good generous inch from the top of your strap down so there's about an inch. We are centered at seven and I am going to bring this Let's go four and a half inches from the top. Okay, this strap here, fold it down a, a generous inch. Let's put uh, three inches in between there and four and a half from the top. Four and a half from the top and three inches in between. And before I put a pin in that, just see how my measurements go. So there's four and a half, so that looks good. I'll test and measure it from the bottom as well. So now I'm going to go to the machine and sew these on. Super. Okay, so I just sewed a little square on each of those to attach the strap, and now the Velcro will be able to Velcro a toy into here. And I was actually trying to find something to Velcro into it. I don't have any baby toys. We don't have any grandchildren yet. So uh, that you can just Velcro the toy into each strap. Well, I hope you liked today's video. If you um, have any questions or have any stumbling blocks, comment down below. But I really promise you, this has been a lifesaver for all three of our kids. I used them faithfully every time I went to the store. So as always, thank you for watching DIY on the House.